Hello and welcome to the Art Reviews. Today we'll be reviewing the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Legacy Collection Pink Ranger. So yes, here we have the Pink Ranger, the first of the two female figures that are going to be released. Uh, the Yellow Ranger is going to be coming out in a later series at some point. But here we have the Pink Ranger, the pterodactyl, if you will. And um, I don't know, I was just kind of interested in picking up a female figure and seeing how they differ. Mostly the same, but there are some differences, and it's still certainly something worth picking up if you are a fan of the Legacy Collection so far. Now let's go ahead and zoom in for the articulation, sculpt, paint details, all those sorts of things. Alright, starting off with a quick size comparison, of course here we have the Pink Ranger. Here's our standard Marvel Legends, 6-inch Cosmic Harvey Iron Man, 3 and 3 quarter inch Marvel Universe Wolverine, and a male uh, Power Rangers Legacy figure. Just uh, so you can get a better idea of how they size together. Uh, the Pink Ranger is a little bit shorter than your male Power Ranger Legacy figure, which makes sense. She's actually just about the same size as a standard 6-inch figure uh, from Marvel Legends or other things that are similar to that. And of course, much bigger than a 3 and 3 quarter inch figure. Now let's go ahead and get everything else out of here and just look at the Pink Ranger. Moving on to our 360 spin, of course the Pink Ranger is mostly pink with white accenting. So basically the bulk of her is pink, and then she has the white diamond pattern on the chest, white gloves with pink diamond pattern, white boots with pink diamond pattern. Her belt is once again silver. I don't know why they decided to change that from the original uh, pair, but they're silver now because kids like silver. Make them silver. Other than that, she has the skirt on, which of course is her like defining characteristic, I guess. I don't know. And, um, for the most part, everything else is pretty standard, uh, female sort of anatomy. It looks pretty decent. Nothing to really complain about there. Now let's go ahead and zoom in on her head sculpt. Head sculpt-wise, of course, the Pink Ranger's helmet has the Pteranodon design across the front with the little green eyes there. She's got her, uh, black visor, silver mouthpiece, and then white across the bottom, which wraps around to the back a bit. Looks like the Pink Ranger's helmet. Nothing to really complain about there. Now let's go ahead and zoom out and look at some articulation. Articulation-wise, the Pink Ranger's articulation is pretty much the same as the male figures has been. It's a little bit different, but it's pretty equivalent. The head's on a disc that goes forward and back, side to side. Ball joint shoulders go in and out, forward and back, bicep cut. She does have single joint elbows, unfortunately. She has a rotation in the glove, wrist hinge and rotation. She has a nice diaphragm sort of joint instead of the abdominal joint. It actually moves really well. It's probably just as good as the abdominal joint they used on the male figures. Waist cut, hips go in and out, forward and back, and have a thigh rotation. Her skirt does get in the way quite a bit, though. Double jointed knees, boot rotation, and hinge and pivoting in the ankles. So you can get her into most poses, but like I said, the skirt is kind of a hindrance because it's made out of pretty thick plastic, so it doesn't give a lot of flex. Uh, it's got a little bit. You can get her into some not quite high kicks, but pretty decent. It's not such a big deal, but it would have been nice if you could get full range of motion there. Anyway, let's go ahead and move on to some accessories. Accessories-wise, just like all the non-Green Ranger releases so far, you're just getting the uh, the Blade Blaster, which is fine in and of itself, but I would like to have had the bow. It's always nice to have, you know, the actual weapons that matter, I think. But, uh, no point in complaining about that, as that's pretty much the case for everyone. And, of course, you get your build a Megazord piece, you get your arm here. Uh, certainly important if you want to build your little Megazord buddy. So, let's go ahead and move on to the packaging. Packaging, why don't you get your standard Power Rangers Legacy packaging, which is a hanging windowed box, the band's Power Rangers build a Megazord, a picture of the Pink Ranger along the side, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers logo, Legacy Collection Pink Ranger. On the back, you get a picture of the other figures that are needed to build the Megazord and the Megazord itself, and the ones that are specifically from this series are the blue, black, and pink ranger from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and the red and yellow Power Rangers in space figures, I do believe. So, those are important if you want those things. And I've reviewed the black ranger if you want to go watch that. As always, these are good for in- or out-of-package display. So, yeah, pink ranger. All right, the rest of it for the Pink Ranger. So until next time, goodbye. Thanks for watching one of my videos. If you enjoyed it, feel free to like the video or subscribe if you would like to see my future content. If not, run away, run away, and never return. Also, feel free to support me on Patreon at patreon.com/vrreviews. Follow me on Twitter at venomraptor09, or follow me on Instagram at instagram.com/vrreviews. 
Thank you, and goodbye.